Listen, uh, I gotta drain the oil out of this bike, and the pan's up on the top shelf. My hands are all greasy. Is anybody clean? Slime Incorporated. Callie, your hands clean? Just cut it out, Farrick, okay? I'll get you the pan. Forget it. I'll just, I'll just wait. No, you just stop and finish what you're doing. Callie can get it. Secret, I think. Dot, 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 and polka dot pink. Yeah, it's great, it's excellent. Dream so sublime, and hot pink time from your dot to your dot. I draw the line. You outshine any star. Beautiful. Beautiful. And bright. And bright. And now I must go. And now I must go. Parting is such sweet sorrow. Parting is such sweet sorrow. Chandler, wait. Don't go. Please, come out of the shadows. Let me see your face. What are you doing? Well, I would think. Not yet. Don't be stupid. Chandler, please, when will I see you? There's something in the night holding me back. What? What? When? When you are free of the chains that ground you, we will be together always. When you are free of the chains that ground you, we will be together always. Until that day. Until then. Good night. Good night. Your mocha lips, the chocolate chips. Your sunshine hair takes me where? Oh, me sink back up to this. You're a vision, I think. And dot, 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 dot. Polka dot pink. Looking for someone? Not you. Oh, a new boyfriend. Well, come on, you're gonna leave marks on my ankle. Why? You seem so alone lately. I'm waiting for Nancy, okay? We're supposed to be having lunch. You got a new poem for me? You mean for your better half? Right, Chandler. If you get your paws off, I might tell you. Sydney, how many times do I have to tell you? You are in no position to bargain. Fine, I have your stupid poem. Excellent. I think it's time for Chandler to have another meeting with Mila. Would you get off? Lastly, after tonight. Why after tonight? After tonight, I won't be needing you anymore. But right now, we have some business to discuss. Well, can we discuss it later? I'm about to go off the deep end. Great. Then you'll join me. I'm fine. It's fine. 
Here? No, it's okay. Here? Mm. All right, it hurts a little, but it, look, I'm just, it's just twisted. It'll be okay. And you're lucky. From that height, you could have done a lot more than twist your ankle. I mean, that is unbelievable. I mean, that is a brand new ladder. Somebody must have done a spit poor welding job. Yep, that is a totally sloppy seam. Take a look, young James. Do you mind? I'm still checking out Callie's foot. I'll be okay. Well, can you move it? No, no, no. Try side to side. Yeah. No, I don't think anything's broken. But what are you, a doctor? I think you're a pre-med, okay? Hey, I'm glad that you're not seriously hurt. But she could have been. But she was. Well, not this time anyway, right? Look, it's fine. Better keep it up. Yeah, his dad was back here. It's a special ointment that he found off Samoa. It keeps the swelling down. Yeah, well, in the meantime, I better get you back to Glory's, put some ice on it. Right. Here, I'll help. No, I'm, I'm okay. I can do it. <laughs> Go tough one. All right. Listen, when you're back on your feet again, maybe you can help me search for those rocks that are missing from my collection. Take it easy. Okay, listen to this. Selling short on the commodities market, while often a highly risky venture, can oftentimes no. turn up. No, no, Neil, we have to streamline. We have to simplify. Look at this. How to buy real estate with no money down. This is what we want, something. I found another one here, boys. How to make a million dollars and never pay taxes. Now, this is certainly a far cry from your usual subject matter. I'm kidding. You know, Neil and I are sort of in a financial squeeze right now. Yeah, as in squeezed dry. Very oh. dry. Leveraged buyouts and corporate takeovers. Quite sophisticated for boys your age. Like rocket science and thermophysics aren't, Mr. Hahn? Uh, yes, you have a point there. Well, one thing is clear. We have to have cash to make more cash. And that's hard to do without our families. But a love of science doesn't uh, really require much cash. Yeah, but if we want to do more than just love science... Yeah, if you really want to put it to use, that requires cash. I hate to see you stop your important work. Please, accept this. No, uh, Mr. Hahn, we, 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 could no, we couldn't take much. It is uh, my humble contribution to your scientific endeavors. Please. Thanks. It's too soon for Chandler to read another poem to Mila. It worked last night. Don't you know the more you make a girl wait, the more she wants you? That's something we both know about, right? But not this time. With me and Mila, it's a whole different story. With you, Garrett, I'm afraid it's always the same story. Not this time. This time, it's a new chapter for Garrett Booth. I'm going to be nice to him. I'm sorry, what did you say? I must have water in my ear. I'm actually going to be nice to her. Take her out to nice places. I'm nice for the both of you. Imagine it, Sydney. I actually have a girlfriend who doesn't mind being seen with me in public. Oh, don't be so sure. Touchy, touchy. Look, how do you know Mila even wants to be with you? She already said she did. She said it to Chandler and not to you. So? Didn't she say she wanted to see who her secret admirer was? Oh, was she in for a shock? I don't think so. Oh, no? Why don't Mila find out that her poetic, romantic, sensitive Chandler is none other than the wild, two-timing Garrett Booth, whom she practically tarred and feathered at her own slumber party? You underestimate my shock. Can you please? Carly on Mila's class Z list. Soon to be at the top of her class A list. Well, yeah, A for arrogant. You've always confused arrogant with confidence, Sydney. Well, since when are you so confident? Since you trash me. You deserve it. I'm better than you ever thought I was. You never proved it. I don't have to. Not with you. Oh, you'll fail with Mila too. <laughs> oh, yeah? All I have to do is open my arms. She'll fly right into me. She spit in your face. Yeah? Yeah. Want to bet? Anything. Okay. If you win, you get the birth papers. If I win, I keep them. You'll lose. As long as you don't interfere. Are you suggesting that I do anything to win? Just for you. Flatter yourself. Hands off for the bed saw. Count on it. 
Tonight, I'll meet Mila as Chandler. Show her who I really am. You know what? She'll scream and run. She'll smile and she's mine. Are we on? What's the matter, Sydney? We're on. and the place, and I'll be there. That's not so important. Will Mila be there? That's the question. Of course, Mila will be there. Except, of course, you'll be on the opposite side of the fence, right? Of course. I know just the place. Perfect for such a situation. Do you tell? Sydney, you must be slipping. You can't guess? Your mother built a monument to separation there. The Great Wall of Swan's Crossing. No man's left? How could you? Garrett? Sydney? Can you hear me? What? Garrett, is that you? Just stop shouting. I can't believe she did this. I can't believe she did this. This is ridiculous. Isn't it perfect? No man's land. Ten o'clock, under the full moon, the air will be charged. But that was... Just have Mila stand in the exact spot where you always stood, next to the crack in the wall. Hi. Oh. Steve. Hello, Sydney. What brings you here? We were supposed to be having lunch. Where were you? Oh, can you believe it? I totally forgot. Well, I guess that's okay. I mean, I've forgotten a couple of appointments we've made lately. Make that five. But who's counting? Not me. That's for sure. You know, I hardly even noticed. Well, ta-ta. Sandy and I are off to lunch. Come on, Sandy. Well, if you guys wait a second, I can change and drive. You know, that's all right, Sydney. We've already ordered, and you know how slow the kitchen can be. You'd just be having appetizers while we're already on dessert. And besides, Sandy and I have a lot to talk about, don't we, Sandy? Actually, we do. We're having a conversation about friends, and although... <laughs> she wouldn't understand. You're right, Nancy. Besides, I'm starving. Me too. Bye-bye. Jimmy, please put me down. Oh, Jimmy. I'm not putting you down until I find a good place. No. Oh, God, Jimmy. Jimmy, 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 thank you. Oh. Uh, okay. You've had enough calls today. Oh. Are, are you all right? Yeah, I was just a little more scared than hurt. You were scared? Yummy yeah, scared. No, I don't think it was from the fall either. I know. Ladders, they just don't give out like that. No. That ladder was, was rigged. I, I just don't know why. That would help. Um, look, don't get angry, okay? But I think that ladder was meant for me. I'm not angry. I'm just confused. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it's a little weird. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why Barrett would be out to get somebody, you know? Especially. What? Especially you. I don't want anything to happen to you, Callie. Hey, Glory! <clears throat> These crazy kids. They go here, they go there. Me? And they keep me running. Wonderful. Tell Chandler I can't wait. Will he be bringing a poem? 
<laughs> okay, okay, no more questions. Uh, Sydney? Never mind. I'll be there. Uh-huh. Bye. Swan's Crossing to ride a bike. Now, this doesn't rhyme, you guys. One, I will work very hard to make Mila like me. Two, I promise to dance with Mila, but never too close. Three, I will never do anything with Mila that Sydney would not like. It's not even my birthday. <laughs> Chandler, please, tell me who you are. Chandler, wait. Don't go. Please, come out of the shadows. Let me see your face. This time it's got to work out for me. I think Lori said something about going shopping with her mom. Oh, in, in that case, I'll go get working on that favor for you right away. Oh, oh wait, JT, we don't have time for a favor. Uh, Neil, remember the idea of friends? a little more than just a theory. Oh, right. Favors for a friend. It's a working concept. All you need was a little building to collapse on you. Knock some sense into that head. Yeah, well, in the process, I think I lost a few brain cells. Or maybe your IQ just went from 250 to 249. <laughs> hey, see you guys later. Hey, Callie, I thought I'd stop by and see how you were doing. Oh, it was real nice to be back. What happened? Well, this uh, ladder gave way in the shop. She took a tumble. Callie, are you okay? Yeah, just chalk it off as one of the hazards of the job. <laughs> Here, there's a little something for you. What is it? Cotton balls or ice cream? Well, you know, you'll never know unless you open it. So what's it gonna be, the lady or the tiger? Triple ripple fudge. Yeah, your favorite, right? At least it was last week. So, what do we got here? Get rich quick. You know, the only guys getting rich from these books are the guys who are writing them, fellas. Hey, now, there's an idea. Well, we... actually, some of the accounting methods described in them are quite sound. For example, sure. take the variable What's the rate... matter? You two geniuses short on funds all of a sudden? Yeah, yeah, our parents pulled the plug on a couple of our projects. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, but you think of something, right? Yeah, we're working on it. There you go. Listen, I, I gotta go do some work. Enjoy the triple ripple. Ripple? Ripple? You get the birth papers. If I win, I keep them. 